Welcome to our video. According to the China Daily dated April 14, Foreign Ministry spokesman Zhao Lijin urged the United States to stop any official contact with Taiwan and cease going down on the wrong path as a group of U.S. senators plan to visit the island. The senators should adhere to the One China policy held by the U.S. government and Washington should abide by the One China principle and stipulations in the three Sino-U.S. joint communiques, Zhao said. China will continue to take forceful measures to resolutely safeguard its national sovereignty and territorial integrity, he added. A bipartisan group of seven U.S. senators led by the chairman of the Senate Foreign Relations Committee is expected to land at Taipei's Songshan Airport on Thursday night. It is the second such delegation to visit since U.S. lawmakers traveled to Taiwan on a military plane in November. And, according to the Xinhuanet dated April 14, a Chinese mainland spokesperson slammed Taiwan's Democratic Progressive Party, DPP, authority for its attempts to take advantage of the Ukraine situation and masquerade the Taiwan question as an international issue. Ma Xiaoguang, a spokesperson for the Taiwan Affairs Office of the State Council, said at a press conference that the DPP authority has been following anti-China forces in the West and hyping up the so-called military threat from the mainland. In an attempt to provoke further confrontation and create more tensions across the Taiwan Straits, the spokesperson warned that Taiwan independence would lead to a loss of peace and plunge the region into peril. He also denounced the DPP's Taiwan independence provocations as the greatest threat to the security across the straits. And, furthermore, according to the Xinhuanet dated April 13, a Chinese foreign ministry spokesperson said that the Ukraine issue has revealed what the United States would do in pursuit of hegemony and bullying. Spokesperson Zhao Lijin made the remarks at a daily press briefing when asked to comment on a recent poll which showed that nearly 90% of Chinese netizens interviewed believe that the U.S. position on the Ukraine issue is not fair and just, but an example of hegemony and bullying. Noting that the ins and outs of how the Ukraine issue has evolved into what it is today are very clear. Zhao said the moves by the U.S.-led NATO have pushed the Russia-Ukraine tension to a breaking point. Instead of taking practical actions to ease the situation, the United States has been constantly adding fuel to the fire, heightening tensions, coercing others to pick sides, and creating a chilling effect of friend or foe, Zhao said. He pointed out that the United States has disseminated disinformation to smear China and distorted China's responsible position of facilitating peace talks, attempting to shift blame. Stoke confrontation profit from the situation, and seek space for its plot to simultaneously suppress China and Russia. Holding on to the Cold War mentality. The United States is obsessed with drawing ideological lines when forming closed and exclusive cliques and stoking opposition and confrontation. The real agenda is to prolong its hegemony and power politics, Zhao said. Under the guise of democracy, freedom and human rights. The United States instigates color revolutions that provoke regional disputes and even wages wars against other countries with the intention to cash in on instability for huge economic interests and geopolitical advantage, Zhao said. He said the country also willfully wields the stick of unilateral sanctions to engage in economic coercion that severely undermines the stability of global industrial and supply chains. The move aims at suppressing and containing other countries. The United States is selective in applying the rules of international law and international order. And the rules-based order, touted by it is in essence rules that suit its acolytes. As peace and development present an overriding trend and gain the overwhelming support. The hegemonic and bullying acts of the United States go against the trend of the times and have triggered increasingly strong opposition from the international community, Zhao said. He urged the country to face up to international public opinion, including public opinion in China.
He also urged the United States to abandon its Cold War and zero-sum game mindset, discard its outdated thinking of seeking its absolute security at the expense of the security of other countries, and take to a track of upholding international fairness and justice. That's all for now. Thank you for your interest.